hi welcome back to Maria's kitchen it's summertime and I'm still going to show you how to make a simple fast easy cornbread the very first thing you're going to do is heat your oven to 400 degrees right now the next thing you're going to do is put one cup of flour into a bowl the next thing you're going to do is three quarters of a cup of cornmeal into the bowl and then you're going to add this is your choice you're going to add two or three tablespoons sugar. of sugar okay the next thing we're going to do is add two and a half teaspoons of baking powder and then we're going to add the three quarters of a teaspoon of salt and we're going to whisk this all up till it's very well combined I'm going to keep mixing and I'll be right back. The very next thing you're going to do is I have my oven on at 400. We're going to put this cast iron skillet in there with one tablespoon of butter. We're going to melt the butter and I'll pull it right out in about three minutes. Okay. Now I've whisked my dry ingredients and now we're going to do the wet ingredients. You'll need two eggs, one cup of milk, and we're going to stir this around real quick just to break up those eggs. So I whisked this all up and it's nice and combined. The next thing I'm going to do is add a fourth cup of oil. Now I got to tell you this, this is a better homes and garden recipe. It said that you can add the fourth cup of butter plus the one tablespoon, or you can add the vegetable oil. So I added vegetable oil and the one tablespoon of real butter. I'm going to mix this up and then we're going to put it into the dry ingredients. Okay, I made a little well in the middle of the dry ingredients in the bowl. And all I'm going to do is pour this in the middle there. And then we are going to mix this up just till it's combined. And it's going to be ready to go in the cast iron skillet. Like how easy and fast was this? You can do it. I'll be right back when this is all mixed very well. Now the cast iron skillet was in the oven for three minutes. The butter has melted. You kind of want to just let it get up on the sides a little bit and you need to be extremely careful with this hot skillet because I hadn't burned myself in years and I tapped the edge and it it nicked me. So here it is. This is how easy it is. We're pouring the cornbread mixture in the buttered cast iron skillet and we are going to put it in the 400 degree oven for anywhere from 18 to 20 minutes but we're going to check it with our toothpick and I'll be back with that beautiful gorgeous cornbread oh, looks good. Yeah, it looks so good and it's just like another tablespoon of real butter so load it it's loaded <laughs> it's loaded Okay, it's just about time to cut and you do want to cut it when the cornbread is warm. Now remember, be careful with this cast iron skillet because it's very, very hot and you don't want to burn yourself. So I'm going to be back and I'll show you I'm cutting a piece. So I'm cutting a piece out. Look how beautiful that looks. I'm going to set it here. And I've got some chili beans here and you can serve it with chili beans and maybe I'm gonna put another piece I'll cut you in a look at how beautiful you got to come and look in here it cuts so beautiful and you want to cut it when it's warm and I'm thinking that my husband wants two pieces so I'm going to put it right here. Look how thick and beautiful this is. And uh, there you go. And there you have it. Let me cut a little slice. I want you to look at this up close. I'm going to cut a little slice here. And I'm going to show you. Look at this. You can see the moisture in there. Look how beautiful that looks. I'm going to eat this piece. Oh. <laughs> Mmm. You know what? I want to thank you so much. I'm going to pour myself a cup of some grape juice and 
you've got to check this out. Make this cornbread because it's so simple and delicious. And I'll be back with the scripture of the day. Let us give thanks to God. He gives the victory to us through our Lord Jesus Christ. Corinthians 15, 57. In Philippians 4, 6. Don't be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known. In 2 Corinthians 4, 15. All this is for your benefit, so that the grace that is reaching more and more people may cause thanksgiving to overflow to the glory of God. In James 1, 17, every good, perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights. Give thanks. In 1 Thessalonians 5.18, be thankful in all circumstances, for this is the will of God for you who belong to Jesus Christ. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. In Psalms 103, give thanks. He daily loads us up with benefits and heals all of our diseases. Thank you, God, for your love.